All right, guys. So we have this this thread going on in the forum about soul suckers, and I got tired of going back and forth with people, so I decided to come in, ask Kevin, to see if he can clear this up for us about the lessers and the hidden jiwomas and whatever it is. So, Kevin, I know that we did this before in a video about how the soul sucker came to be, but if you can just give us the details again as much as you can, just so that we can understand why your lessers are different and why does a soul sucker exist. Um, okay, basically the original lesser line was from a Queen Belinda. I thought it was a Daddy Platy to a Queen Belinda, but, you know, that was whatever. The, but anyways, ultimately I ended up getting uh, a lesser, an African snake from, you know, Noah, who's the originator of all that stuff. So it had some, you know, voodoo, juju, whatever. Involved. So it's a lesser, but directly out of Africa, a lesser that yes. Noah bred something together and send you a lesser. Not so a Daddy Platy. Not any of that, a lesser. I think most likely it was the uh, son of a daddy platy. Okay. Okay. So I took that and I bred that to what I we call the hidden gene woma. And the uh, hidden gene part just denotes that it looks one way, but it also does these other really strange things. Well, anyways, when I bred the two together, they combined to basically give me uh, soul suckers that look like this. So predominantly a striped animal, this weird melted pattern, and everybody, you know, kind of has an idea what a soul sucker looks like. So this is the culmination of a lesser, a hidden gene woma, but I, I think basically I would pretty much say the way I understand it, the way I absolutely believe it is, it's the daddy platy gene reacting to a, a gene that's not being shown on the hidden gene woma, but the two are reacting. So basically these two things are occurring at the same locus. So they're the same locus, we have the lesser platinum and we have a uh, hidden gene woma. They occur here and now on the alleles, we got maybe one allele that says make daddy platy and on the hidden gene woma, we have another allele that says make something that's striped or whatnot. Just as there'd be alleles saying make a leucistic snake, you know, wherever we go, hidden, um, where we go lesser and we take Mojave, they occur on the same locus. There's an allele that says make a leucistic snake for the lesser. Mojave has an allele that says, let's make a leucistic snake. The two go together, we get a leucistic animal. Well, in some, for some reason, hidden gene womas will make a super, which is basically a leucistic snake, but it's a fail. And we have something else going on where I think it's reacting to daddy platy and we get these, this striping. So if the lessers indeed and basically didn't carry a little hidden gene, then a Mojave would do it, uh, a Phantom would do it, a Vin Het would do it, um, a butter would do it, and I actually expect a butter might do it because a butter, there's a butter daddy. So butter and lessers would probably react to the hidden gene Woma, whereas a Mojave and a Phantom and a Vin Het would not. Okay, so there. That's how it's made. That's how he got them. That's why his lessers are different. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you guys some pictures of them. When I'm going I'm to add them on to the end of this video. Uh, just so you guys can see why his lessers are different and why they're called hidden gene lessers. Um, do you believe that any line of lesser mixed with a hidden gene woman can make a soul sucker though? No. You don't think I, I did not I did not think any any kind of lesser can do that. Um, okay. So we have some lessers that make daddy platies and we have some lessers that don't, right? That's the way I understand it. Okay. Okay. So the lesser that's carrying the daddy platy gene. When he breeds a normal, in theory, those resulting babies are all 50% possible daddy platy carriers. So I think it's just, it works out just like that. Um, realize another thing. I have not gone like the whole gambit. I haven't, you know, worked through all these different bugs and stuff like that. And so I'm not saying this is absolute. This is what I believe. You know, so two years from now, you know, I could be eating my shoe. <laughs> and I have no problem with eating my shoe. But it's, it's what I've seen. I can certainly tell you. Time and time again, we sell lessers, and people are like, is that a pastel lesser, or is there something else in that? And it's like, no, it's just one of the lessers that comes out. We make a lot of really nice lessers with yellow. Um, you know, Ralph would be a, a good person on this stuff, too, because Ralph, anybody who knows lessers, it's, it's Ralph. Um, and he has the original line, too. But uh, I think there's definitely something going on, and uh, I guess we'll, we'll say it has to be seen. So the hidden gene lesser name that you use... Hidden gene, I mean, it's just a name, or like, I mean, is there an, an additional gene, or is it just a name that you happen it's, it's to use? It's, it's kind denoting. Of stuck? So my lessers, 
come from soul suckers. So if I take a soul sucker that absolutely makes hidden, you know, the, the, the resulting soul sucker, I call those resulting lessers from a soul sucker, I just call them hidden gene soul suckers. Hidden gene lessers. Yeah, yeah, excuse me, hidden gene lessers. Yeah, I, I get myself confused. You know, it's really interesting too. Sometimes uh, people will take a hidden gene woma litter mate, just mm -hmm. the litter mate, and breed that to something else, and it makes weird things. It yep. makes pearls. I have taken snakes that are not womas and made pearls. So that that that, that, that extra hidden gene is kind of separating it, itself it's, and it's, it's underlying yeah, somewhere. It's, okay. It's, so I could take. As an example, I could take a hidden gene woma litter mate that's normal and breed it to a hidden gene woma visible, and I can make a pearl. Yep, you showed me that two years ago. Yep. So I remember that. It's kind of weird. It, it it does some really really strange things. Okay. Well, there you go, people. That's how soul suckers work, and that's why the lessers from Nerd are hidden gene lessers. Oh, there was a part that I forgot to ask in the video that I made, so I remember, so I'm going to ask him now, even though he's driving. Uh, Kevin, the first soul sucker that you ever made, is it any different than the ones that you're making right now? They're all variable. So I can make soul suckers now that look just like the very first soul sucker I made, and vice versa. Genetically? It's, genetically, all, all same. 